Boom. Thank you. Off the boom. There you go. <coughs> uh, good afternoon, gentlemen and ladies. Thank you for attending this briefing on behalf of Northumbrian Police Service. I am Chief Superintendent Ron Norris, and uh, I should like to read you a short prepared statement regarding the speculation as to the status of one of war senior officers. Thank you. As of 1800 hours today, a senior detective inspector from the Criminal Investigation Department has been suspended from active duty with immediate effect pending a full internal and independent inquiry. There has been a number of serious allegations levelled at the officer in question, namely that of dereliction of duty by flagrantly, sorry that's a typo, by flagrantly disregarding protocol on social media. For legal reasons we are not at liberty to name the officer at the centre of these allegations, so instead he is a picture by Emma Torrington, age 604. Thank you. With regard to the officer's media obligations, namely that of the weekly community crime help show Police 3, I can confirm that the producers have assured the public that the show will still continue and are in talks for a replacement presenter. I can further confirm that War Agent is already in negotiation to secure me as that replacement presenter. And I feel, given War Charisma, will be able to bring a much needed fresh look to a tired format and my own unique style of pizzazz. Thank you. Uh, that concludes the statement. I will now open this up to the gentlemen and Ladies of the press, for any questions? Thank you. Yes. You turn to make the sun. I want to report true that the officer in question has turned rogue and is now residing in Jesmond Dean Park, living off berries and stray dogs. I can neither confirm nor deny those reports. Next question. Yes, thank you. Jenny Gantry, Danny Tobar. What are the chances of the officer being cleared of the allegations? Well, what I will say is that uh, Northumbria Police Service, or given the officer in question, the full and committed support and backing. Uh, should I get the gig on Police 3, that support and backing will be immediately withdrawn. High change in the planet. Who won the World Cup in 1966? Well, we have several top officers working on that, and an announcement will be made once we are in possession of all the facts. Yes? Quentin Down, look, there is a Daily Mail. Is it fair to say that mass immigration and the BBC are responsible for this? I think that's a question for Alan Titchmorsh. Gentlemen and ladies, uh, I can now reveal to you that uh, the winners of the World Cup in 1966 were England. And uh, that concludes this press conference. Thank you very much. No more questions, please. Thank you. Thank you.